For millennia, the tantalizing mystery of Atlantis, the lost island kingdom, has ignited human curiosity and spurred countless theories about its reality, location, and eventual fate. According to ancient accounts, this mythical city, often referred to as the Island of Atlas, was a utopia, boasting an advanced civilization rich in wisdom and wealth. Its grandeur, innovation, and subsequent downfall continue to inspire a myriad of speculations, inviting both believers and skeptics into an engaging discussion. The story of Atlantis first appeared in two dialogues, Timius, and Krishers, written by the Greek philosopher Plato in 360 BC. In his works, Plato described Atlantis as an idyllic civilization located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, the present-day Strait of Gibraltar. The island, greater in size than Asia and Libya combined, was said to be home to a superior race of individuals who embodied the epitome of virtue and wisdom. Plato depicted Atlantis as a powerful kingdom rich in precious metals and rare stones. It had an intricately designed city layout, with concentric rings of water and land connected by tunnels wide enough to accommodate ships. But despite its glory, Atlantis suffered a catastrophic downfall. In a single day and night of misfortune, Atlantis was swallowed by the sea and disappeared, leaving only a vestige of an ocean where it once stood. Plato, left, and Aristotle, right the Greek philosopher holds his Timius while he gestures to the heavens painting, Raphael. Common Myths and Misconceptions while Plato's account served as the foundational narrative, many myths about Atlantis have taken shape throughout the ages. These interpretations, amplified by popular culture, often lean into the fantastical, bending the bounds of reality. Myth 1, Atlantis was an advanced technological civilization. Many believe that the Atlanteans were not just intellectually superior but technologically advanced as well. They posit that the city possessed futuristic technology, often citing evidence from Edgar Cayce, an American clairvoyant, who claimed Atlanteans used crystals for energy production. While intriguing, no archaeological evidence or historical text supports this claim. Myth 2, Atlantis is located in the Bermuda Triangle. The idea that the mythical city lies within the infamous Bermuda Triangle has often been romanticized in literature and films. Despite the allure, no verifiable proof links the geographic anomalies in the triangle to the lost city. Moreover, the location contradicts Plato's description of Atlantis as being beyond the pillars of Hercules. Myth 3, Atlantis and the lost city of El Dorado are the same. The conflation of the golden city of El Dorado and Atlantis stems from their shared status as lost, grand civilizations. However, El Dorado is a distinctly South American legend, while Atlantis's origins lie in ancient Greek philosophy, making them separate entities. Atlantis, many believe that the Atlanteans were not just intellectually superior but technologically advanced as well photo, creative commons. Myth 4, Atlanteans were aliens or had contact with extraterrestrial beings. A fringe theory posits that the inhabitants of Atlantis were themselves extraterrestrials or at least had contact with alien beings. This myth is often rooted in the interpretation that the advanced knowledge and technology Plato attributes to Atlantis could not have been possible without extraterrestrial intervention. However, there is no evidence to support this claim, and it falls squarely into the realm of science fiction rather than historical fact. Myth 5, Atlantis was destroyed by a technological disaster. This myth ties into their belief that Atlantis was an extraordinarily advanced civilization. Some proponents suggest that Atlantis's destruction resulted from a technological catastrophe, such as a nuclear explosion or a disastrous experiment with advanced energy sources. Again, no concrete evidence supports these assertions. Myth 6, Atlantis is in Antarctica. Inspired by Charles Hapgood's Earth Crust Displacement theory, some speculate that Atlantis lies beneath the ice of Antarctica. They believe that a rapid pole shift around 9600 BC caused Atlantis to move to its current icy location. This hypothesis, however, lacks concrete archaeological or geological evidence and has been widely criticized by the scientific community. Myth 7, Atlantis was a continent. Some interpretations of Plato's work suggest that Atlantis was not just a city or an island but a continent. These theories often come from misinterpretations or mistranslations of Plato's original text. The philosopher described Atlantis as larger than Asia and Libya combined, but most scholars interpret it as an allegory for Atlantis's vast influence rather than its physical size. Myth 8, 
Atlantis sank into the Atlantic Ocean. Despite Plato's original writings suggesting Atlantis was located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, many believe it sank into the Atlantic Ocean. This myth is likely due to misinterpretations of Plato's descriptions or romanticized versions of the tale. Myth 9, Atlanteans had unique physical characteristics. In some popular culture interpretations, Atlanteans are portrayed with unique physical characteristics such as unusual skin or hair colors, heights, or even abilities such as breathing underwater. These portrayals, however, have no basis in Plato's original descriptions and are purely fictional additions. Myth 10, Atlantis was a peaceful utopia. Many depictions of Atlantis portray it as a peaceful utopia where war and conflict were unknown, and its citizens lived in perfect harmony. This is, again, another largely romanticized version of the tale. While Plato indeed describes the Atlanteans as virtuous and noble in their early days, he also portrays them as a formidable military power that waged war on other nations. Over time, according to Plato, the Atlanteans became morally corrupt, and their society's initial virtue and wisdom deteriorated, ultimately leading to their downfall. Thus, the image of Atlantis as a consistently peaceful utopia is more myth than reality, based on Plato's own descriptions.